the next thing we have is potassium. A lot of people get confused when they see potassium um, and they say, oh, it's vitamin K because potassium is often abbreviated as K. K is short for kalemia, which is Latin for potassium. No, potassium and vitamin K are not the same thing. Um, you know, so that may be one source of the confusion there. Another source of the confusion is a lot of foods that are high in vitamin K, green leafy vegetables, are also high in potassium. But yeah, potassium and vitamin K are totally not the same thing. Now, potassium is a metal that our body needs in order to function, particularly our brain, nerves, and anything that uses electricity. And so without potassium, this thing isn't going to work, and so we're not going to have much electricity flowing through our body. Okay, so what can cause a high potassium level? Well, chronic kidney disease. So what happens? Well, your body's constantly peeing out potassium. Why? Because we're putting lots and lots of potassium in our mouth. We don't need all that potassium. And so if our kidneys are going down, the potassium level in our blood is going to go too high. Other things is medications. So especially if you're on chronic kidney disease. So you may be on medications to help you deal with your blood pressure, but now you're not peeing out enough potassium, and your potassium levels are going too high. Sometimes you go on a potassium supplement because your potassium was low, or now you took too much, and so it's high. And so it can get really complicated managing chronic kidney disease with that. Medicine's disease. So remember how I said the potassium level is too high? So the adrenal cortex produces something called a myralocorticoid. And it says, whoop, it's just in. Potassium too high. And so if your potassium is too high, you're going to pee it out. Well, if you have Addison's disease, you're not making that hormone. And so your body's holding on to too much potassium, not peeing out enough potassium. Now, your cells have lots and lots of potassium in them because we're constantly pumping in the potassium. And so if you damage that tissue, you crush it, you burn it, all that potassium is going to start leaking out. And your blood potassium level can go sky high. So what can cause a low potassium level? Well, chronic kidney disease. Most of the time, it's too high. But sometimes, depending on the exact variant of chronic kidney disease you got, you may actually have a low potassium level. More often than not, it's the medications that you're taking. So, hey, look, we know you have chronic kidney disease. We know that your blood pressure is too high and that you're tending towards too high of a potassium. What we're gonna do is we're gonna give you a medication that's gonna make you pee out a lot of potassium. That's called a potassium waster. So if you're on that medication, you may bottom out there. Usually low potassium is caused by fluid losses. So diabetic ketoacidosis, this is kind of a tricky one right here. What's happening, your insulin levels are low, your blood sugar is high, so your pee, 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 and all that fluid loss can cause your potassium to bottom out. But because you don't have the insulin, some of the potassium can leak out of your cells. And so your blood potassium can be too high, whereas your body potassium can be too low. And so if you give these people insulin, their potassium can drop like a rock and unfortunately it can kill them. And a lot of times they're having to check the potassium level frequently to make sure the potassium is not bottoming out right there. Okay, diarrhea. Yeah, losing lots of fluid right here. Uh, medicines that's going to make you go poop, a laxative. Medicine that makes you pee diuretic right once again we're losing the fluids we can lose potassium along with it okay uh sweating losing fluids over here alcohol use one of the big things alcohol does is it stops your ability to make antidiuretic hormone which is saying whoop you're dehydrated hold on to fluids so if you're not doing that you're going to be peeing alcohol is a diuretic other things that can cause this is primary aldosteronism. So aldosterone, remember it says, whoop, this just in, potassium too high. Well, my aldosterone level is too high. I'm just peeing, 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 peeing out. Lots of potassium, even though I don't need to. And so my potassium can very easily bottom out. Lastly, you get a low intake. So sometimes people get on restrictive diets, for example, low folic acid diet. It can be by choice or it could be you got leukemia. You don't want to give the leukemia the folic acid that it desperately needs so it can replicate really fast and kill you. So we're going to put you on a low folic acid diet. Well, a lot of times a low folic acid diet is going to be pretty much the same thing as a low potassium diet. Folic acid is not potassium. Totally different thing there. But most of the foods that are high in folic acid are going to be high in potassium. So obviously if you're not eating enough potassium, there's only so much potassium your kidneys can hold on to. 
if they aren't holding on to enough, you're going to bottom out. Um, so very important here to be aware of these things. All right. That concludes today's episode. If you liked what you heard, be sure to click the subscribe and like button down below. And as always, if you have any questions, comments, concerns, or if there's any particular topic you'd like me to create a video on, let me know in the comments down below. All right. Well, I look forward to seeing you on my next podcast.